In this problem, we're given n strings, and we want to rearrange these strings in such a way that said every string is a substring for all strings that come after it. So in this case here, a is a substring of ba, a and ba are both substrings of aba, and so on and so forth. So first thing first, let's read all this data. So we're given an integer n, and then let's just read Oh, it's a string. Let's just read the strings in. Okay, so the first thing that's obvious is that something can only be a substring of something else if its length is less than or equal to it. So over here, like the length, so 1 is less than 2, 2 is less than 3, 3 is equal to 3, and 3 is less than 6, 7. So yeah, so first thing first, let's sort all the strings by its length. So if we just did um, a sort of a, so if we just sort this list, what would occur would be, it would be A, A, B, A, A, B, A, A, B, A, whatever this is. And then at the very end, it would be B, A, because B comes after A lexographically. So what we have to do is we have to create a comparator that will sort this based on the length of the string. So all we can do is create a bool, which I'll just call comp, and then we give it two strings, string s and string t. And what we'll return is if s dot size is less than t dot size. So now if we do this, we sort this based on length. So one thing to notice is that if two substrings are the same length, they have to be the same string. Because if we have ABA and for example, BAB, then we know that one is in the substring of, our, of another. And in this list, one has to occur prior to the other. So what we can do is we can just check if in this new list that we've just sorted, for every element, if that's a substring, of the next element and so on and so forth. And if that's true for every element, then we found an answer and then we can just output that. Otherwise the answer is no. So how do we do that? So let's assume that there is an answer. So we just call, so we can solve it and we'll see that as true. So then for i between one and n, what we can do is if a i dot find a i minus one equals string cause then can equal zero. So if this, so a i minus one is not a substring of a i, then we know that we are unable to sort this in the manner that we wanted to. So just to clarify, this means that if a i minus one is not a substring of a i, then can equals zero. So now we can just see if we can solve it, what we can do is we just output yes, and then we just output the list. We just do for n c out a i, and it's a new, it's a new line each time. Otherwise, we can just output no, and that, no, it's not pause, end pause. Okay, that should work. So now let's see. Yes, A, A, B, A, A, B, A, B, that looks right. This should be no. And this should just be yes with three qwerties. Yep, perfect. And voila.